Welcome back to Ramp Safety Course, Understanding Safety in Ground Handling Operations on Aircraft Stands. In the last lecture, we studied what is pre-flight inspection of ramp and why is it important. We will continue the same topic in this lecture and explain the importance of the matter by studying a historical account of aircraft accident. Singapore Airlines flight SQ421 arrived at Changi Airport in Singapore from Mumbai, India. At 16.45 hours, when the Boeing 777-200 was parking at a stand number F-37, an empty cargo container was ingested by the left engine of the aircraft causing serious damage to the engine blades, body, and internal components, rendering the engine unserviceable. The engine had to be replaced after the incident to make the aircraft airworthy again. The Air Accident Investigation Bureau of Singapore carried out a thorough investigation of the accident and published a report on 30th July 2015. The accident happened when the aircraft entered the ramp and was at its final stages of docking. Just before it was about to reach the aircraft stop bar, there was a train of cargo dollies hooked to each other that was laying inside the aircraft safety envelope, also known as the Equipment Restraint Area or ERA. As the aircraft approached the stop bar, the train of cargo dollies fell inside the jet engine's ingestion danger zone while the engine was still running. As a result, the empty container that was lighter in weight than the cargo dolly itself, making it susceptible to suction, went straight into the jet engine, coming into direct contact with the rotating fan blades, causing serious damage to the engine. The ETA of Singapore Airlines Boeing 777-200 was 1634 hours. To conduct pre-flight inspection, a certified technician and a lead technician arrived at the ramp at 1610 hours to conduct pre-flight inspection. By 1620 hours, certified technician had checked the normal operation of the automated docking guidance system, while lead technician had conducted survey of the aircraft safety envelope for checking that no FOD or piece of equipment was parked within the equipment restraint area or aircraft safety envelope. After completing the inspection, both certified technician and lead technician waited for aircraft arrival. Meanwhile, another equipment operator who was preparing for an arriving flight on the adjacent aircraft stand was repositioning some baggage trailers and left a few baggage trailers and a cargo container inside the safety envelope of a stand number F-37, that is, where the Singapore Airlines aircraft was about to arrive. When the aircraft arrived at the ramp and was approaching the stop bar, lead technician moved closer towards the stop bar so he could apply chocks to the aircraft wheels when it stops. It was then when he noticed that the baggage trailers were falling right in front of the aircraft engine. He called out to the certified technician to make an emergency stop, but his voice couldn't be heard in the loud noise of the jet engine. Consequently, the aircraft engine sucked the empty cargo container and reached the aircraft stop bar. The investigation concluded that various reasons combined together to result in an accident. One of the reasons highlighted by the investigation was that certified technician and lead technician completed pre-flight inspection 15 minutes prior to arrival of the aircraft. However, a continued surveillance of the ramp was not carried out to make sure everything is normal before arrival of the aircraft. If the team had ensured continued inspection, 
they would have spotted the baggage trailers parked inside the equipment restraint area and could have averted the accident. So this is why a pre-flight inspection is critical to ensuring ramp safety. Any shortcoming in pre-flight inspection of the ramp can contribute to any accident or incident caused by an object or piece of equipment being present inside the equipment restraint area, also known as aircraft safety envelope during aircraft docking. With this, we conclude our discussion. See you in the next lecture.